Uh, now it's my pleasure to introduce Bill Bookless. He's Principal Deputy Administrator at NNSA, where he supports the um, stockpile stewardship and other broad aspects of the NSA uh, portfolio. Uh, from 2009 to 2012, he served as senior advisor to the NNSA Administrator for Policy and was also Assistant Laboratory Director for Policy at Brookhaven. Um, before that, for 32 years, he was senior physicist at Lawrence Livermore, where he worked on a range of nuclear security topics, including pulsed high current electron beams and investigating the effects of X-ray lasers. He has a uh, undergrad degree in physics from Southern Illinois University and a PhD from the University of Wyoming. So please help me welcome Bill Bookless. Thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here uh, for a very personal reason. Um, 41 years ago, and I'm dating myself very heavily there, but 41 years ago I came to Lawrence Livermore as a graduate student in a program that's very similar to these programs. Um, it was with an organization called the Associated Western Universities at that time. It was a Department of Energy funded activity to bring graduate students to uh, the national laboratories. And so this program is very close to my heart in the sense that uh, I spent the last two and a half years of my graduate career at Lawrence Livermore uh, doing experimental physics work. And uh, after following that became an employee of Lawrence Livermore. And here I am only 41 years later. Um, it's, a, it's a pleasure to have you all part of this program. Um, this is a way for us to embrace students from around the country. I know there are students here from all the way from California to Massachusetts, from Louisiana to Michigan. Um, it's a broad range of students. And by the way, I grew up in Illinois, so I was very happy to see that the SSGF, uh, there were three University of Illinois students here, so that, that was encouraging to me. <laughs> but um, this is one of the programs we have within the NNSA. And uh, for those of you that have been in this program for a while, you've probably started to become familiar with what NNSA does. Um, we have a wide range of activities. The largest by far is our uh, responsibility to steward the U.S. nuclear stockpile, but we also do very important work in uh, nonproliferation around the world. We also are responsible for delivering to the Navy the nuclear reactors that power um, all of the aircraft carriers and submarines in the U.S. Uh, uh, inventory of naval ships. So uh, we have a broad range of activities spanning about $16 billion a year this year. Um, and you're part of that at this stage. Uh, you're embedded in the system and you're part of our team to be successful on behalf of the country. And we look forward to you embracing the opportunity to understand what we do in NNSA, and hopefully many of you will be employees of NNSA following your graduate studies, but if you're not, then we look forward to having you as ambassadors in the, in the country. Um, the world continues to evolve during my time in NNSA, we've seen the Cold War end and uh, the country looked for a peace dividend and activities calmed down quite a bit. And in more recent years, we've seen a resurgence in tensions around the world. Um, the, the work that we do in NNSA is part of this country's 
responsibility to try to ensure that wars like the Second World War and the First World War don't occur again. And we try to do that through the combination of activities I mentioned. In the next few years, I hope many of you have the, the opportunity to spend a lot of time in, at the national laboratories, um, not just a few weeks, but, but hopefully uh, much more time than that. So you can begin to understand the opportunities that are going to be there for you, but also so you can take advantage of the capabilities of those labs and uh, take advantage of the opportunity to interact with the wonderful workforce we have around the country. Um, I encourage you to ask as many questions as you can think of when you have the opportunity to interact with those folks. It's um, a rare opportunity for most of the U.S. citizenry to be able to go into those laboratories as peers, and that's the opportunity that you have in front of you. So in conclusion, I'd like to just say that once again, I welcome you, uh, the new folks uh, in these programs, and I welcome back all of the rest of you, and uh, I hope this is a uh, enriching opportunity for you all. And if there are any questions, I'd be happy to, I think we've got a few minutes, I'd be happy to answer any questions I can.